Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this video, we will practically show you the importance of enzyme immobilization. This practical is divided into two parts. And the first part is the immobilization of yeast cell in sodium alginate. And this part is already uploaded in our channel in which we have practically demonstrated how we immobilize the yeast cell in sodium alginate. The link of the video is given in the description box. So in this video, we have fast forwarded this part means first part of this experiment. After immobilization of the yeast cell in sodium alginate, dry this sodium alginate bead. And after drying, we will use this immobilized yeast cell for this experiment. Now, in the second part, we repeat the fermentation process with and without immobilized yeast cell. Means to compare the fermentation process using immobilized yeast cell and non-immobilized yeast cell means normal yeast cell. For this, we have taken two conical flasks and in both the conical flasks, we have transferred 100 ml distilled water to each conical flask and in the left side conical flask we have added 3 gram normal yeast cell which is in the granular form normal yeast cell means this yeast cell is not immobilized and then in the second right side conical flask we have transferred 3 gram immobilized yeast cell prepared in the previous experiment means yeast cell which we have immobilized in the sodium alginate after this transfer 6 gram sugar to left side conical flask and then again transfer 6 gram sugar to the right side conical flask means we have to transfer 6 gram of sugar to each conical flask after this gently shake both the conical flask to dissolve the sugar into the liquid now cap and cover the opening of conical flask with two different color balloon here we have taken green and pink color balloon Conical flask with green color balloon containing unimmobilized E cell, E cell get mixed with the liquid. But in the conical flask with pink balloon containing immobilized E cell, the E cell is in the intact form inside the, inside the sodium alginate bed. After 5 hours, you can see that fermentation process starts in the left side conical flask containing unimmobilized E cell due to which the balloon inflate due to the carbon dioxide which is released during fermentation and then observe the same after one day you can see that in both the conical flask fermentation starts but in the right side conical flask containing immobilized e cell fermentation rate is more as compared to the left side conical flask containing unimmobilized e cell as the balloon inflate more in the right side conical flask containing immobilized e cell than in the left side conical flask containing unimmobilized e cell and after two days again you can see the difference that in the immobilized e cell containing conical flask the pink color balloon is still more inflated due to the entrapment of carbon dioxide which is released during the fermentation but the conical flask containing unimmobilized e cell the size of the balloon become constant means the fermentation process becomes slow down and the saturation starts and if we see the bottom of each conical flask the immobilized yeast cell is still in the intact form but unimmobilized yeast cell get mixed in the water here you can clearly see it after decanting the liquid from the conical flask for this decant the liquid present inside the conical flask containing unimmobilized yeast cell and transfer it into a beaker here you can see that yeast cell is completely get mixed with the liquid which is not easy to recover. Now decant means transfer the fermented liquid present in the immobilized yeast cell containing beaker. You can see here that immobilized yeast cell is still in the intact form means inside the sodium alginate bead and remain inside the sodium alginate bead. Means yeast cell participate in the fermentation process without get dissolved or you can say mixed with the liquid. Means yeast cell do not get mixed with the liquid like the second conical flask. Yeast cell remain inside the alginate bead and the fermentation process takes place only uh, by the transfer of the liquid from outside to the inside the bead containing yeast cell without the movement of yeast cell from inside to outside the medium. So we can easily recover the yeast cell, the immobilized yeast cell after fermentation process as you can see in the video by the filtration process. Here you can see in the filter paper the recovered immobilized yeast cell and this recovered immobilized yeast cell 
can be again used for the fermentation process so this is the advantage of immobilized cell or enzyme in the fermentation process as compared to the unimmobilized cell or enzymes which are used for the fermentation process thank you very much for watching this video